Good morning. It's Thursday morning, April 1st, 2021. And it's a pleasure to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. April the 1st is an interesting holiday, April Fool's Day. Sometimes it's been called the holiday of the atheists because the Bible says the fool hath said in his heart there is no God. And that's the way God speaks concerning those who deny his very existence. But in Proverbs chapter 4, we're going to read verses 3 and 4 today, and we're going to talk a little bit about the power of influence. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 3, the Bible says, For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also, and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. And verses 3 and 4 is a place where Solomon mentions his parents. And of course, we know his parents were King David and Bathsheba. And the Bible says, Solomon, in Solomon's own words here, that my father taught me and said, keep God's commandments and live. There is a great deal of influence in what the parents can do in the heart of a child. And this is something that we should never, ever lose sight of. Sometimes parents doubt the power of their influence. But the parent's example and the parent's words and what the parents instill in the children uh, are very powerful influences in the lives of those children. And God tells parents to train up a child in the way he should go. God tells the dad to bring up his children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And of course, the dad and the mom are to be specifically and actively involved in bringing those children up in the things of God. But the fact of the matter is the most powerful influence in the life of those children in their formative years is the parents. And what the parents communicate and depart to them will be absolutely essential in those children's lives in time to come. And the influence of the parents, whether they're, whether they're consistent in what they say they believe or whether they're inconsistent, whether they teach them the right things, whether they teach them the wrong things, uh, can be a very strong and will be a very powerful influence in the lives of those children. And Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived by uh, common uh, evaluation, said, my parents taught me some things. And he took some very powerful steps himself toward following righteousness, although he was deceived himself and was led astray himself by the influence of his multiple wives who were many of whom were heathen women that were given to him as gifts in harem uh, gifts from other kings still he was a man who knew what the truth was and he made a lot of wise decisions and god blessed his kingdom amazingly at least at certain points during his reign he reigned for 40 years in peace and it was about the only time that israel ever had that lengthy of a time without any major wars going on, skirmishes between them and their enemies. But God blessed Solomon's reign and he blessed his monarchy in amazing ways. And God's kingdom was furthered as a result of Solomon being instructed in the things of God and then following up as far as he did with those principles and those those truths from the word of God, from the heart of God himself. It's a great example to us that we should, as well as parents, be very, very conscious of the fact that our influence goes a long, long ways and be very careful to be consistent. Be careful of what you teach your children. They're watching. You know how little children watch and observe. Nothing gets by them and they will be imitators of the things that they observe. And so parents should be very careful about how they live and how they speak because their children will follow their example. It's a great thing to be in that position. It's also a very sobering thing to be in the position of example and leadership. 
because there are a lot of people who take that leadership role very seriously as they're observing it and they will imitate what they see and hear. Be a godly parent. Be one who stands strong and true for biblically held convictions. Teach your children the truth and live those truths yourself. That will show up a long, long time for years to come in the lives of those children. God bless you today.